Hi, and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, we're going to dig into everything Polygonmatic and, you know, other stuff that's happening in the space. And uh, I'm going to round up with my thoughts and opinions as to what all of this means. So if you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Now, what I would say is there's a lot of stuff just hidden in plain sight that people should be taking note of and understanding what it actually means uh, for crypto in general. So we're going to dig into all of that. Right, let's get down to the desktop. So we're going to start here and we're on coin market cap. So we are still above the $1.1 trillion market cap for all of crypto, but we are down 1.03% at the time of recording. Bitcoin at 24,471.66, down 1.60 in the last 24 hours. But we're here to really look at Polygon, which is down 6.28% at the time of recording at $1.39, ranked ninth by market cap. And what I will just remind people of, um, you know, lots of people talking about like, we don't understand why the market would c come down to, to, to lower prices or, you know, dump or, you know, uh, pull back, retrace, whatever terminology you wish to use. And this is one that, you know, has held up really, really strong. And people have been saying, you know, I can't see it going below $1.25 ever again and, and so forth. And, uh, you know, there's always uh, a reason. There's always more to, to what's going on in the space. So we're down 6.33% at the time of recording, ranked ninth by market cap. And uh, look what's happened. So we see Matic drop 6% as Polygon Labs slashes headcount by 20%. So this is laying off about 100 employees as part of their larger consolidation first announced on the um, 11th of January. Polygon Labs today announced it would be laying off 100 employees. So this is uh, something that's really interesting and a lot of people don't really understand what it's all about. And we've seen many companies um you know particularly in the tech sector lay off lots of staff and uh, this is something uh, yours truly has been saying to expect more of in and out of the crypto space so this doesn't come as a surprise to me this is uh, i guess a company that understands the macro landscape currently is not good so i'm looking at this as a, a real positive not a negative now um obviously we we've got you know, lots of articles, you know, talking about the, the same scenario here. Um, but, you know, this is um, basically more than a trillion dollars in value has been wiped off the crypto sector last year. And uh, this is due to raise, um, rising interest rates and uh, worries about the economic downturn. And this is what, you know, is really, in my eyes, um, the reason for this, these layoffs. Now, we've got people on social media media and i, I want to say are speculating uh, and i don't but i'm not aligned to to what i'm reading here but you know you can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below but sources tell me polygon got cash flow problems hence layoffs uh but other projects will also follow shortly like it's not necessarily a cash flow issue that these projects are experiencing and i do agree that we will see more projects this is something i was highlighting weeks ago like it shouldn't come as a surprise to people um it shocks me that everybody um no matter how much we get right here at cheeky crypto just seem to ignore what we say and um look we, we're used to it i'm not bitching about it but you've got to ask yourself like who are you following and how accurate are they and um you know we called the 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 bottom in june that happened and we said that isn't actually the bottom we think there's a new lower low that then happened again in november and again we've said we expect to see a new lower low and i think that you know the economic landscape is just not being taken seriously enough um this is not a cash flow issue in my opinion uh this is uh, a company uh, as we're going to see many others and we have already seen many others in and out of crypto doing the same thing this is about protecting the business 
protecting you know the the, the cash flow uh, being able to continue to scale uh, exponentially and, and stuff like that so i want to sort of you know give my thoughts and opinions on it as well as you know take on board others um but i do agree with see more I have been saying it and, uh, you know, who are you following? So Polygon has uh, grown exponentially is what is being said in this post. And they're going to continue to have that tremendous growth. But they have to change their strategy for the next five years in order to drive that mass adoption of Web3 by scaling Ethereum. And uh, their treasury remains healthy with a balance of over 250 million and over 1.9 billion Matic. And look, you've got to take this at face value and, and, and know what it is. And a lot of these people that talk about, you know, cash flow issues and uh, this is a bad thing um, really don't understand the macro. They really don't understand, you know, a, a recession, probably never experienced one, probably don't actually own very much and, you know, probably leave, live in their, their, their parents' Uh, basement and there's nothing wrong with that but you know don't make out you're an expert i really do feel that you know we've got far more um pain to to see over time but i want to flip um bullish in a moment and uh talk about um anchor anchor has partnered with microsoft to offer uh enterprise node services and i think this is a, a pretty sizable and uh, big deal for anchor a project that nick and myself do really like and was massively invested in in the last bull market and uh, i think this is a sign of you know how good this project is it is solid and it's going to continue to do really well i did want to talk about that and sort of you know move away from from the negative but with all of that said my expectations for this space is that you know we're going to see further pain we are going to see a sizable pullback we may see a black swan event that you know is unpredictable but probably very predictable and um you know we've been calling this for for some time look eventually nick and myself are going to get something wrong uh, i just don't believe that this is going to be that time i really do believe that we're going to see a new lower low uh, and you know a lot of people are going to be like listening to this or watching this and you know asking themselves how do we get there and i think seeing what we've just seen from polygon uh, goes to demonstrate like how um how that can happen you know and uh how nobody was foreseeing this although it was mentioned back in january that they were going to be you know looking at how they you know continue on this path that they've been on and, um, you know, I think this was a, a very big possibility and, and very likely to, to happen. It's in line with other tech companies. And I think we're going to see more of it. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing. I think this is a responsible uh, thing for a company to do in order to continue on their projected journey. And uh, I think that is a really positive journey when it comes to, to Polygon Matic. And uh, I'm really excited about, you know, being a part of that journey. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.